Hi friends, it's Pastor Letitia from Tracial Ministry International and I'm happy to be with you today. So today I want to show you something. Have you ever been fishing or have you watched people fishing? Now I have some pictures here to show you what usually happens when you're fishing. So basically the fish is in the water and the fisher just put his, uh, his staff to catch the fish and he put a little piece of food for the fish to attract the fish okay but at the bottom you can see there is a hook that goes into the mouth of the fish so as soon as the fish sees the food and will open his mouth to eat the food he doesn't get to eat the food but the hook goes inside his mouth and he's hooked he was just trying to eat food see and what will the fisherman do he will pull him out and put him in his basket so the fish get hooked by the fisherman for trying to take a bite okay on the bait we call it a bait a bait is the little piece of food that the fisherman the fisherman will put on the hook to get to the fish so what does it have to do with us anyway so have you ever started something that you know you're not supposed to be doing and then you start it then you can't stop like let's say you know, tomorrow you have class. Tomorrow you, you have to sleep early because tomorrow you have class or you have, you have to go to church or something like that. But you tell yourself, well, let me just take this video game and just play for 30 minutes. And you find yourself playing the whole night. Or you know you're supposed to be sleeping, but you tell yourself, no, well, let me just watch one movie or one cartoon. And you find yourself doing it all night. Why? Because you knew you were not supposed to do it, but you just wanted to take a bite, like the fish. All he wanted was just to take a bite. Then he got hooked, just like you. You just wanted to start something, and then you got hooked. You did it all night. Then in the morning, you were tired. Listen, the Bible talks about it. I'm going to read in the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. I'm, it's a long verse. I'm going to read it for you. The only temptation that you have are the temptation that all the people have. But you can trust God. He will not let you be tempted more than you can stand. But when you are tempted... God will also give you a way to escape that temptation. Then you will stand it. So what is the Bible saying? It says, everything you feel like doing, you know it's wrong, but you feel like doing it. You are not the only one. Many people feel the same thing. They want to do what they're not supposed to do. But the Bible says, you can say no. You don't have to do that. Okay? God has given you the power to resist temptation. So let me give you an example. I love cookies, but I'm not supposed to be eating sugar, too much sugar because it's making me gain weight. Guess what? If I open this cookie and say, okay, let me just take a bite. Guess what's going to happen? Because it's nice, it's sweet. I'll end up eating everything. So if I don't want to eat this cookie, what should I do? I should not even open it. I should put it away. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to talk to you. You might be a teenager or a preteen or even just a young kid. One day, you'll meet friends who will be smoking and will ask to tell you, they will tell you to try to smoke. They'll present, they will show you some alcohol and tell you, just take it, just test it. Guess what? Everybody who is a smoker today tested it one day. So you don't have to try everything. You don't have to test everything. Don't take a bite. You'll be hooked just like this fish. For him, it was just a bite. But at the end, there was somebody trying to catch him. The devil is at the fisherman. He wants to get you hooked to bad things, to drugs, to alcohol, all these bad things. So the only way it can get you is if you try it. So don't, if you know you're not supposed to do it, don't even start. Don't get hooked. How? By not taking a bite. May God bless you and I love you. Bye-bye.